In the previous video, we have finished implementing our graph creation method to our adjacency graph. So now we can simply click play and create a road. And we should be able to see that if we create a house and a special structure and spawn an agent, in the scene view at least, we have this visualization of our graph and we could potentially use it, traverse it, and then pass this new path found through the A-star algorithm on our new graph to our pedestrian so it can move through the pavement. So let's do that in this video. So I'm going to stop this and I'm going to open up our AI folder in the scripts folder and let's open up the AI director. Okay, so we are in our AI director. Let's scroll down to find our get pedestrian path. Here in this method, we are returning null and debugging our graph. So what we can do now is instead of returning null, we can call our adjacency graph with capital letter because we have our static method. I think it was a star search and a star search can take our graph, which we have created. So graph, it can take our start position, which we have passed to this method beforehand and it can take the end position Okay, and it should generate us a list of vector threes. It will either be an empty list if it didn't find a path, or it will be a list of positions, which are our markers on our roads, so our road prefabs. And thus, we should be able to make our pedestrian, using the previously written logic, move through those markers instead of through the center of the road. So let's go to our get pedestrian and back to our try spawning an agent. And before we can test our code, I have just spotted a mistake in my logic, which is that we are getting this start and end position and we are passing them to the path placement manager get path between for our general graph, which indeed has those two positions. But for our new graph, we indeed need to pass the start, uh, start structure position to find the closest position to our road. So we, we need to get the road marker basically, not the position of our structure or the position of our road. So instead, we will need to create two new variables underneath the start position, let's call var start marker. And this will be the marker on our road that is the start position. So what we will need to do is first, we will need to get the road that is closest to our structure and then we will need to get from this road a, a position of the closest marker to the structure itself. So let's call placement manager dot get structure at, let's get the road structure at the start position, which is start position. And we, are, we have the reference to our road. So start marker should be this get pedestrian spawn marker, which will simply yield us a marker of the position closest to this position given. Actually, I don't think we will need to use this method. So this may be a little redundant. So get nearest marker two, and this will return us the vector three, which we care about. So let's call get nearest marker two, and we will need to pass the start structure, which is passed as the argument to this method, dot transform dot position. So now we will get the closest marker to this position on our road. And we will need to copy this code and paste it and create the same marker for our end position. So end marker, maybe start marker position and end marker position. And we are going to set it to be equal to placement manager dot get structure at and start position. Now we are, we'll need to get the end position, get nearest marker two, and we are going to call end structure that transform that position and now those are present on our new graph so we can pass those to our get pedestrian path method that we are calling below so start marker position and end marker position okay and what is going on here it wants us to pass the vector 3 int but we do not care about vector 3 int we want to pass vector 3 so let's modify the definition of our get pedestrian path so it can take vector 3 and you can see that this start and end position is only passed to our a star search now we should be good to go okay so let's give it a shot 
and let's press play we are in the game let's create a very simple road place house and special let's clear the console let's spawn an agent and we do have an argument out of uh, range exception so uh, argument out of range exception so apparently our list is empty so what we are going to do is uh, we have an error in our Easter algorithm so let's go to adjacency graph and let's correct it okay we are in the adjacency graph let's use this drop down list from the top right corner of visual studio to find our a star search implementation great and what we were, were going to do here is we have a mistake in the while loop when we are checking if our current vertex is equal to end position we are passing here the vector 3 but instead we want to pass the and vertex that we have calculated so let's change this if statement if current vertex equals and vertex and you can see that now it uses this vertex dot equals instead of object dot equals since it was not able to compare vertex with a vector 3 and if we are here let's slide down to uh, the method called generate path and what we are going to call is before we return we are going to pa call path dot reverse since we are going to get a reversed path so from the end position to the uh, start position and we do not want that so we are going to reverse it so our agent starts from the start position now this is due to the implementation of this generate path uh, method so uh, we should have corrected it earlier okay let's save it and now let's go back to unity great so now i'm going to stop and restart the unity after the script compiles okay i'm going to restart unity and we should be able to create our path and try again so i'm going to create some kind of road here okay i'm going to scroll uh, near it and uh, move our uh, camera using the arrows i'm going to use the house as special and i'm going to spawn our agents and you can see that our agents are walking through the pavement but they have started from the center of our road so we will need to find out why was that the case so let's see where they are going and they are going to the correct spot so the problem was with the spawn position of our pedestrian let's spawn them again so they were spawned at this position so probably we have a old code in our adjacency graph so let's stop the game and let's open up the ai director script great let's slide down to when we are trying to spawn an agent and what we can see is that we are instantiating the agent get random pedestrian and we are passing the start position instead we want to pass the start marker position okay and uh, not here but in the instantiation great let's save it so let's check it quickly if it works so i am going to go back to unity okay i have created a little town i'm going to spawn my agents and you can see that they have been spawned in the correct location and they are traveling uh, and actually they're using the y value of this position so we have another bug in our ai agent script so let's fix it as well i'm going to stop it to go to our ai agent script and here we will need to find the part of the code that uh, makes our agent travel so move the agent we are going to move the transform to, uh, position to move towards transform the position and end position we are going to instead of this we are going to pass here new vector 3 and position dot x we're going to pass here transform dot position dot y so we don't want to change the y position of our agent and we have end position dot z and now it should fix this issue so our transform should stay on the correct uh, height and let's copy the same new vector so actually we can Control x and make a vector 3 and position correct equals this vector and we are going to pass it to our move towards and we are going to pass it to our slurp so look direction and position instead of end position we are going to pass this end position correct so this should be good to go and, and we can use this correct position in our distance calculation as well so let's save it and now we can go back to unity okay i have prepared our city i'm going to spawn the agents and you can see that they are traveling correctly 
they are indeed still inside the road because of the position of our start marker so the y position since we are spawning them there but basically they work so what we can do is make sure that our markers are placed on the correct y position okay so let's fix this issue and let's implement the visualization of the pedestrian path in the next video